When we talk about pollinator habitat, we always talk about how important it is that you do a little bit of management on your project each and every year. And if you have pollinator habitat, the odds are really high that you're going to have to battle at least one of two different things. Invasive trees that are showing up and coming into your project or grasses that are starting to take over your project. Today we're going to talk about a really simple, effective technique of getting rid of invasive trees. This is a mature pollinator project that had a prescribed fire conducted on it this spring and we have great floral diversity coming back, just what we want. But we can quickly see that our fire did not eliminate our tree problem. The trees are either still green and growing, or even if we top killed them, the trees are beginning to sucker and re-sprout at the base. Haven't gotten rid of them. So today we're going to talk about a simple technique using two people, where we come along using a brush saw, and we cut these trees off at the ground, and then with a very simple tool that's created using just PVC pipe, we're going to create a herbicide wick where we come along and we dab the base of that tree and we completely eliminate these trees from our pollinator project. For today's tree removal operation, we're actually using a brush saw, but you can use all kinds of things, hand saw, clippers, anything like that to cut the tree. But what you really need is a SAM. This is Sam. Sam is a professional herbicide applicator to cut trees. You can probably find a Sam anywhere. You ready? Yep. Let's go. For this management activity and the trees we're controlling, it's important to both cut and apply a herbicide as this tree species will simply re-sprout from the base of a cut tree. My herbicide choice for this activity is to use Remedy in a formulation that is one part Remedy to three parts dyed diesel. I really prefer this formula over some of the other ones out there because it's so effective and the herbicide does not translocate through the root system or the soil and affect the wildflower species this site is being managed for. In our next habitat tip, we're going to provide you with details about how you can build and use an inexpensive herbicide wick like the one we're using today. In the end, this has been another great example of a management technique that you can use with minimal time, expense, and effort, but produce long-term benefits to your pollinator habitat project. Well, here's our final outcome. In about an hour and a half, two people cut, dabbed, and then hauled out of this field about 600 invasive trees. Another example of a little bit of annual management. Removing invasive trees, but protecting the pollinator plants that we want in our projects, now that's great habitat. <laughs>